What's going on everybody? Trailblazer891 here, and I want to welcome you back to another Destiny video. Bungie has recently revealed some new information about the Taken King due to be released on September 15th. So in this information, Bungie has revealed the file sizes for update 2.0, which is set to re be released a week earlier on September 8th, and this will be much larger than any DLC or update that we've seen before. The Xbox 360 will need to have about 10 gigabytes of free hard drive space available for the download, and PlayStation 3 users will need to have around 20 gigabytes of unused space for installation. The reason for the such a large file size is that Update 2.0 pretty much has all the information for the Taken King in it and will be downloaded even if you don't purchase the Taken King. In this, Mark Noseworth from Bungie did confirm that the new Quest system and the new Nolan North voiced Ghost will be available on September 8th with Update 2.0. These new downloads for Update 2.0 will have the total space required for Destiny up to about 30 gigabytes for both the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3. And this could be a real problem for some of those playing on the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 because simply put, there's not enough space on those hard drives on the last gen consoles for a game that size. This will also take the space needs for the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One up to 60 gigabytes for total space for Destiny. Now, this means if you have one of the last gen consoles with the smaller hard drives, you, then you won't be able to download Update 2.0 and therefore the Taken King without some sort of upgrade to your hard drive space, whether external or, or internal. Now, some of those consoles do have the ability to upgrade the internal, and they also have an option to for USB as well that you may be able to do. And that may really get uh, some people upset because they just don't have enough room for those updates. Bungie has also suggested a second option for them, for players, and that is to upgrade your console. I know that that's a really kind of a brazen attitude to take by Bungie, and it may really piss some people off, but that that's just what they said. Now, if we want to admit it or not, we knew that this day was going to come eventually when the new games being put out would become too much for the last-gen consoles to handle, or developers felt that trying to make games for next-gen consoles that are of high enough quality and the same game that is small enough to fit on the last-gen consoles, that they just felt that there was going to be too much work and they didn't want to compromise the work for the newer games. Uh, I think this is good for gaming. This is going to help push developers uh, for years to come to help them make games uh, become better and better each year. If you have been thinking about upgrading to a next-gen console, you can do that and still transfer all your gear and weapons and everything you've earned in Destiny with you to a next-gen console, as long as it is within the same family, such as Xbox 360 to Xbox One or PlayStation 3 to PlayStation 4. It won't go transfer from a 360 to a PS4 or from a PS3 to an Xbox One. It won't do that. It has to be within the same family. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Is this going to discourage you from playing Destiny in the future? Uh, is this going to maybe push you to purchase a next-gen console that you maybe had been thinking about but had just hadn't pulled the trigger on? Let me know what you think. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you'd like to keep getting videos, hit the subscribe button. And as always, I'll catch you next time. Thank you.